that as my alarm to get up, but hi everybody, good morning. Glad to see you all again. I'm getting ready for my night shift. And I plan to make this one whole video of me just kind of like getting ready. I had my friends over last night. We went to a haunted house, had some apple cider mimosas, made some pizzas, and it was really, really good and fun. So anyway, like the living room needs cleaned up, the kitchen, all that fun stuff. And then come here, Harper. Harper's here. She is here. You got something red on your face. What is that? <laughs> you see the person, she sees someone taking out their trash, but... Anyway, here is Miss Harper. She's doing great and happy and healthy, right? Can you say hello? Oh, what's that? Um, <laughs> oh, but um, the one thing you may notice is my hair is completely dark. That was very unexpected. I didn't expect my hair to be this dark, but that's okay. It'll kind of like fade out. It's a demi-permanent color and I, I just got it done. So bear with me on that. And it's pretty short, but hopefully It'll grow and be a little lighter. I want it to be more like my natural hair color and it's just a little bit darker than that. So if you don't like it, sorry, <laughs> you know, it's okay. <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna just start kind of cleaning some things to catch up on. Yeah, we're gonna clean the apartment and kind of make some coffee and get ready and do all this fun stuff. So I thought it would be fun just to kind of chit chat, catch up, get back into the swing of YouTube. So if you saw my last video, I, <laughs> if you saw my last video, um, Garrett and I are engaged. It's so crazy. That was an amazing trip and I was so shocked and it was just perfect. But if you haven't seen that, go ahead and check it out. I did my best to film on that trip, but I was just really enjoying it being on the cruise ship. I had never been out of the country before and it was just so, so fun. But if you can't tell by the bats, it is still October. It is October 28th when I'm filming this. I go to work from 7 p.m. to like 7.30 a.m. Monday, Tuesday, or sorry, <laughs> Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and then Tuesday is Halloween. Since Halloween is almost over, I figured it's probably time that we bust out the little skeleton mug. I have not used it yet. So, might as well. Um, but let me show you how I make my coffee now. <laughs> I use this electric bean grinder. You just plug it in and like it pulsates. I'll show you. But this is the cafe brand off Amazon. I think it works really, really well. Then I just use like regular beans. I just put them in this cute little jar from Home Goods. But these are the Dunkin' Donuts regular coffee beans. Then I have an electric kettle. This one I awful, <laughs> awful. This one I also bought on Amazon. Um, I don't know how to say this brand, but I can link these all down below if you are interested. Everything I got for this is off Amazon. This little guy, I use, I do um, drip coffee. So this is like a little drip coffee thing that I like to do. I don't know, I just, I like it. I think it makes my mornings more, what would you say? It's like you're romanticizing your mornings, or in my case, afternoons, a little bit more. And then lastly, what you need is some filters for your drip coffee. I just bought these on Amazon. Really, you don't need all this fancy stuff if you have like hot water on the stove, like little normal kettle from your parents, or you have it, you can use that. Um, you can use ground coffee beans. You don't have to grind them yourself. I'm just kind of being extra. So I just wasted so much time trying to get my camera to focus and I just realized what was happening. But anyway, I'm just gonna put a filter in this. Um, updates in my life. What else can I tell you? Garrett and I joined a CrossFit gym. Very nice, very cool. Kind of getting away from like normal, like not, I wouldn't say call it like bodybuilding, but that type of working out. I just think CrossFit is really, really fun. I'm not in it like intensely, like I'm not someone who wants to go to like the CrossFit games, <laughs> but I just think it's fun because your workout's already done and it's it's really fun to do. I really have been enjoying it surprisingly. You don't want these like, if you do grind your own beans, you don't want them super fine because then like it forms into a weird paste. Also, I just wanted to show you the little hats I put up. I thought they were so cute. I put them, um, I bought them off of Amazon. They came with like so many. Um, and then my little bass above my TV. It's not super festive in here. I have not had enough time to decorate, but 
that's that. <laughs> All right, the water is ready. This is the creamer I love to use. It's the Silk Almond Creamer in Caramel. I think it's really good. Mm. And then I'm also gonna have a glass of water before I drink this coffee. Okay, cleaned the apartment as much as I could for the time being. It's like 5.15, 5.11. So I'm gonna go ahead and like wash off my mascara from last night, brush my teeth, wash my face, do all of that stuff. For my like face wash, this is what I use. Oh my gosh, this bottle's kind of dirty, but it's the Kale and Green Tea Spinach and Vitamins Super Food Cleanser by Youth to the People. Just looks like this, it's a little dirty. And then after I go in with that, I use Paula's Choice um, like ex liquid exfoliant and then I'll go in with the Drunk Elephant um, Hydra Intensive Serum and then after for a moisturizer I got this gifted to me or I bought it but this is just like the Mary Kay day sunscreen I need to get some more moisturizers but it's a nice like thick moisturizer especially because like the weather is getting colder and then I'll mix in the bronzing drops from drunk elephant this stuff is amazing just because especially now that my hair is dark it makes me look a lot more pale so I just want to add some color so that's what I'm going to be using I let it sit on top that way it just like gets the chance to like really absorb and then rub it in so you know that's what I like to do so I look a little crazy for a little bit this is my outfit for work <laughs> I just have on a sweatshirt and some black sweatpants because we change into scrubs at work like they're like the OR scrubs and they're very itchy and uncomfortable and I actually hate them so much but we have to be able to change um, in case we get dirty, which happens all the time because labor is a messy job and we are a very busy hospital. Like the other night we delivered six babies in one hour, which is insane, especially for night shift. Usually night shift might be a little slower, but yeah, insane. I'm just gonna go ahead and start putting like makeup on and getting ready. I'm ready to go to work. I packed my lunch. I just made some pasta the other night and then I put some popcorn in there and then like a reduced sugar hot chocolate because it's chilly out and it's so fun. And then the one thing I do bring, our scrubs are navy blue. So I brought this, I bought this like navy blue like fleece crop jacket from Amazon. It's the best thing ever. I can link it down below, but I wear that with my scrubs because the scrub jackets itch me as well. And then just taking like a little hair clip to put my hair up. I need to take my ring off because no way am I wearing this to work. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I will go ahead and try to film a little bit on my phone. My phone is broken at the moment, like the back facing camera. So hopefully I can film some stuff while I'm at work a little bit. And then I'm going to continue this vlog through the next three days. Um, so tonight and the next two nights while I work so you can see like my spread of how I kind of handle night shift So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead head out. It is rainy out there put some shoes on and Go deliver some babies
Hello. <laughs> Good morning. Um, I woke up way too early today. I woke up at 1 o'clock and then I couldn't fall back asleep and now it's 3 o'clock. So I guess I'm up and I'm going to struggle tonight and be really freaking tired. But since I'm up, I'm just going to go ahead and like do some laundry or something. I don't know. Like try to use my time wisely. <laughs> Okay, I figured I would go ahead and show you what's in my nursing bag. I like to switch between two different types of bag. This one is from Amazon. It's a love lock. It's heavy duty. It's a great nursing bag, but I'm going to be switching over to this tote I have. I like to switch back and forth. It just kind of depends on what I'm feeling for the day. This one is nice because it has lots of compartments, but it's just really heavy. But let's just start from on top and we'll work our way through it. I have so much stuff in my nursing bag. Um, a charger, because I work on night shift, and sometimes when we're slow, I just, you know, scroll on TikTok or something, but a lot of times we aren't slow, but there are moments where I'm on my phone, so I always make sure I have a charger. Then we have my stethoscope, and actually, I don't keep this in my bag. I leave it in my locker at work, um, but I just wanted to bring it because I love my stethoscope. It's just a Littman. I think it's like the classic three, all black. And then I got this name tag from Etsy. That way no one steals it um, <laughs> because I tend to leave it out all the time at work and that's not good. So I have this little bag. This is just like my, ah, my accessory bag, um, personal needs. We have like tampons, uh, my inhaler, chapstick, lotion, hand sanitizer, all the good stuff, like a little healthcare kit, a nail file, I have like a comb because sometimes my hair gets really crazy. Oh, I have floss in here. Floss is a really good thing because like if you're eating something at work and something's stuck in your teeth and you don't have floss, what are you gonna do? So, got a little like um, floss pack and then I'll talk you through my favorite lotion ever. This is the best thing. This is the working hands and it's like the night treatment, I believe. It's so bright, I'm so sorry. Um, this is the best. I use it whether it's like daytime, nighttime. It's just deep conditioning. It smells so good. I love this stuff. And then the next thing I got, one of my faves is the Summer Fridays. This is like their, um, lip butter. And this is in, the, what flavor is this? Vanilla? But it's like one of their tinted-ish ones. Next, we'll pull out my handy dandy pencil bag. This is my pencil bag. This is from Amazon. I got it as a bridesmaid gift. And that's my alarm. <laughs> Tons of pencils in here and pens. Um, just like a whole sorts of array. I'm just a big pen girly. Um, these are my favorite right now. They are the Bic Gelosity. I got it off Amazon. They come in like so many different colors. I just love how they write and I like to get a report from them, but I have just, I have so many. My planner. Um, this one is, who is this by? Plum Paper. I customized this planner. I really, really love it. Um, this is my life and if I don't have it, I'm a mess and don't know write down my lovely schedule and then I have the layout where it's like day um, day by day like hourly so just like this it comes like this is the day and it go by, goes by the hours I really like it just to plan things out makes it easier let's see in the same pocket I have in here I have a heat like a hot water bottle um, a lot of the nurses on my floor have this and it gets really cold in the hospital So we just fill this up with hot water from our coffee machine and it stays warm for so so long I love this one. Um, this is by Forcom. Uh, it's from Amazon. I love it Great size just hold it put it on your lap It's great. This is my Kindle emotional support Kindle hot girls read books love this thing when i get the time i love to read especially if i'm on antepartum 
um, where we keep like our high risk patients in the hospital. A lot of the times we're not that busy after midnight, so I like to read while I can. I am partial to the A Court of Thorns and Roses series. Love that. I really need to finish the really need to finish the third book though i'm working on it but the series is so good um this is a little thing that can go on your badge reel this is supposed to represent like the baby's stomach so like when they're born and then like three days later or whatever so how much milk they really need is really really tiny i don't have this on my badge because it just it, it looks like an egg <laughs> if it was like cuter maybe but I don't know it just looks it looks like an egg <laughs> next thing I have are these like goggles I had stoggles and then they broke and they were expensive and I was like that's waste so I bought these off Amazon they're just like little glasses with goggles on them a lot of times where I've been splashed in a delivery and I just don't want it in my eyeballs so sometimes if I feel like this person may be a splasher then I'll I'll put these on during a delivery I have some <laughs> vitamin D12 Tylenol and then Tums because on night shift your stomach gets so freaking upset so that's really great to have um this is my little like labor notes i took notes during like clinical um when i had my labor clinical and i kept it because you know it's been like super useful i remember i did all this in nursing school and then i just wrote like unit specific things in here that i don't want to forget um just because i am like still not even a year into uh, my being a labor nurse it's just good to have like a little notebook of things you need to remember green tea i love to have some hot tea and honey at night it just you know relaxing <laughs> And then um, a major necessity as well is AirPods. These are my AirPod Pros. I love them. I actually lost one of my earbuds in the, like, our scrub. Like, we put our dirty laundry, like, scrubs in a container. And I had to help buy a whole new AirPod thing because I lost mine. But we changed into, like, OR scrubs. We get them, like, basically almost out of a vending machine kind of thing. Um, and then when we're done, we, like, put them in this, like, big laundry locked thing but anyway i had to buy a whole new thing of airpods which was not fun but airpods very much a necessity on night shift that was everything that was in like this really big pocket there's just so many so many things to like place stuff we'll go through these two front things um in the front i just have one of like another badge um, I made this one just as Natalie are in, and then I have some cervical dilation beads that I made. So, if I feel like I want to change my badge out, this is what my badge looks like um, right now. So, it just looks this, and then orange cervical dilation beads, and then I just have like a little monarch pin that I got from Etsy. And monarchs just mean like a lot to me. Here, I'll give you a close up of it. So, there's my little monarch pin but and then on the back of my badge i bought this off etsy it's just because my badge flips all the time so that way patients can still like see my name and like rn so everyone has them at work very very cute that is literally everything that was in this bag and i really love that bag and sometimes i just flip back and forth between it but i feeling going to my tote bag so now i gotta organize all this mess that's on my bed because it's insane it's kind of like insanity at the moment we are leaving i got ready for work kind of fast just because i was rushing just a little bit Watching the cheese game, they're not doing great, but whatever. I gotta go get gas and grab a few snacks and grab um, an energy drink. It is flipping so cold in my car. This is, again, this is not my car. I tried filming, I'm sure you'll see like on my phone and the quality was just so crappy. So I brought out my little vlog camera and just gonna take, um, not necessarily into work, I feel like that's just really weird, but um, at least on my way there. 
Okay, went inside the gas station. I know this car is like so odd. Went inside the gas station, got some snacks. I got an Alani, just like the um, the Kimmade. And then I got some Flaming Hot Cheetos. <laughs> and then some Dots pretzels. Not that that's great for you at all, but. Hello everybody, it is the next day and I still have to go to work. This is my third night shift in a row. I am actually going to go to Chipotle, get some food, and then I'm on antiperm tonight and I think there's only three patients, so I'm gonna go grab like a coloring book or something. Keep me entertained for 12 hours because normally it's just very, I don't wanna say the S word. Anyway, I'm gonna go to Chipotle, grab a coffee, and then head to like Target or something. It's so bright. Went to Target, I grabbed a coloring book, which I'll show you, and some colored pencils, because I just have a feeling tonight is going to be a night where I need some activities to do. Um, and now I'm at Dutch Bros, just gonna get like a cold brew before I go in, so I have some sort of caffeine. So, we'll see how this all goes. Hello, I made it to work. I went and got the pumpkin caramel brulee cold brew from Dutch Bros. It's my first time trying it and it's literally October 30th. And it's really good and I'm sad I haven't been getting this like all fall because it's gonna go away. But I also got a coloring book from Target because I've already explained and this is the word world of flowers and it's just like really pretty and I really really like it so I'm gonna put this in my bag and then I just brought some like got colored pencils to go along with it and personal colored pencil I am gonna go ahead head into the hospital because it is a long walk when you kind of walk inside also I like straightened my hair and like curled some pieces like under and I'm really kind of like kind of liking it but Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead, head into work, and I will see you when I'm in there. Hello, everybody. <laughs> it, I'm finally, finally done, and then for work, and I go back on Friday. So, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's great to be back, um, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.